Happy New Year guys! This is the first video of 2021! So exciting! So exciting! <laughs> <laughs> <Christmas>. New Year! <laughs> Yeah, so for this video, we're just gonna do a little bit of recap of the year. We're gonna have a little award ceremony. <laughs> yeah, so if you're interested in K-pop, gaming, anime, stick we're gonna to drop these. our favorites. We're gonna drop our favorites. We're gonna the true yearly awards, the Maggie and Sham annual K-pop gaming anime awards, right here, right now. Right. But before we get onto the video. Make sure you <laughs> mash that like button, mash that subscribe button, and hit the bell because I always forget to ask that. Yeah. Hit, hit the, the bell, bell so you know when we when we're here or there or anywhere. Really. <laughs> so, how was your 2020? Personally, I I'm I like the year. You like the year. I think uh, a lot of. Big things happened this year, which I can I can look back at and be proud of. Mm. Obviously, that's not including global issues, but but in general, I feel like we had a good year. Yeah. Okay, so what about the pandemic? Like, what do you feel like has it affected you? So it's like a it's like a news interview. <laughs> so, what do you think of the new pandemic that's going on in this country right now? You know you're supposed to hold the mic to your own mouth when you ask the question. Oh. <laughs> so, the pandemic sucks, obviously. Um, when the initial lockdown happened, it didn't affect me too much because mm. I'm not very outgoing. Mm. I'm an introvert extrovert. I, I, if I go out, I can have a good time. Mm. I'm not awkward. But you like being at home. I'm not awkward, but I, I like being at home. I like being with people, but I like being at home. Mm. I like bringing people, like... That sounds creepy. I like bringing people to me. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, I think for me, like I still like being at home, mm. but I used to live alone before, right? Yeah. So I always wanted to like meet friends and go out and stuff. Yeah. So I think that was a big change for me. You had no me. life, really. Yeah, I didn't have a life. Yeah. yeah. And. Yeah, I remember first going to your house. What? There's nothing there. <laughs> But yeah, I think that's the biggest for me, like the change. Um, but then after we moved in, I felt very like chilled about it. Like I didn't feel like, oh, I was locked in. Yeah, that's another big thing actually this year is, is moving in. We moved in this year. Yeah. Yeah, we got our own place. We moved right before the lockdown. Because if we didn't move, we wouldn't be able to meet. You remember when we talked about like, what would happen if we didn't move? Mm. You were like, oh, I don't think we'll be together now. <laughs> so. Like meeting your friends aside, what's your biggest? What What do you think was your biggest hurdle of, of of being like in lockdown? Yeah, I think for me it's like I can't travel. Hmm. Because like I really enjoy traveling every year and stuff, and especially I can't even go back to Sweden. And usually I go back like I would go back in summer usually. Mm. So yeah, and we even had plans. We were we were planning on. On, we we're trying to save up to go to Japan. Yeah, we want to travel. We want to travel. Yeah, because I haven't been. And yeah. I'm a weeb and I haven't been to Japan. Like, what the hell? I'm a disgrace to weeb. What the hell, man? What the hell, man? Coming from the one that went to Akihabara and left straight away. <laughs> like, what's this weeb shit? Ooh. I'm a weeb now. <laughs> but yeah, I think another thing is also because um, we're staying at home a lot. I can't do a lot of stuff with you. Like, I want to do a lot uh, more. Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to go bowling. Yeah, like, we want to go out and do stuff together. Like, yeah, it's nice to be at home with you, but... I still want to explore that, like we never travel together or anything like that. Since the lockdown, since March, we've probably been out a total of what? Like, on a nice evening out, like three times? Yeah, three dates, that's it. Mm. That's all I got. <laughs> Joking. That's all I can get. <laughs> you get less on a normal year. <laughs> yeah, you can ask my past girlfriends. <laughs> girlfriends? <laughs> I mean, go. Let's, I want to talk, touch a bit more on our, our YouTube journey because mm. uh, that's probably been the biggest thing, mm. biggest takeaway this this year. Uh, how have you found it? I actually like it. It's mm. a bit stressful sometimes, obviously, mm. because I'm also doing my master. 
and I think that's the hardest thing for me to like balance the time, like to do mm. both. Because like YouTube is actually a full time job, but we're not getting paid. We're not getting paid. Oh, that was a big struggle for me. I lost my job. Yeah, that was bad. That was, well, I mean, it was expected. Yeah. I lost it because of COVID, so yeah, it's not like. Well, a, a lot of people lost their jobs, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, overall, it's been fun because I feel like YouTube gives something else to us. Like, we do stuff that we usually wouldn't do, and like, I feel like we do it together. Like, it's something that we both enjoy doing. Yeah, I think it also gives us a bit of purpose as well. Mm. And it's something to aim for. Like, obviously, yeah. now, like you said, it is like a full time job, which we're not getting paid for. <laughs> um, it, I think it's something that I, I want to continue growing. Yeah, of course. Like, I see myself, you know, 100 million subs, controversies, <laughs> get, get, being always being put on Wall Street Journal, like, Sham does it again, like. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely something, something that I, I, I want to pursue and I want to expand it as well, like, I, I want to. We have many plans, but. We have many plans, but right now, when, when you're not getting anything from it yeah i mean well we are getting satisfaction from it yeah and obviously every like comment we get you know brings yeah, a lot of joy lot. to us it means a lot and we're happy that we can bring that joy to you guys as well and we want to bring it to more of you guys um i think we've both gone through a lot of personal stuff mm. in our lives that we want to share with you guys a lot of, like we want to relate to people and build a community for like maybe some people that went through the same hardships as us or or for anyone really for weebs Weeps. for korea boos fashionistas fashionistas gamers for jamers 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 but yeah we, we do have a lot of plans but obviously right now it, it's it's very hard because there's nothing apart from the satisfaction the only thing we can put into it is our our um, passion yeah right but sometimes that's not enough obviously there's a lot of financial aspects to it and mm -hmm. with the current time like with everything that's going on it's very hard to in invest in something that you don't really, really even know if it's gonna get there yeah. and we still do like because we enjoy it but we do have like some really big projects that we want to do but planned that we, we want to do it but we have to unfortunately wait uh, until we um, build more of a base yeah i think we wanted to like we talked we, we talked about like having in, like separate channels like i wanted to make a separate channel for, for gaming because we don't want to cram right now right now we cram a lot into one we do that everything we enjoy, we enjoy we just do everything we enjoy you know maybe maybe 2021 is the year i start streaming oh yeah you want to do a stream on twitch yeah 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 follow me on twitch and i'm joking <laughs> Well, technically, I, I but do. But comment I just if you will be interested, though. Yeah, comment if you'll be interested. Eh? If I if I if I did some Twitch streams, mm. or we could do some uh, just chatting streams. I I'm I am i am i am not gonna be that great. I'm not like you're not gonna watch me because I'm so good, <laughs> but I am. Or if you wanna see me lose on the games, then exactly. That's actually more interesting. <laughs> I think even now, like. We're not getting paid, right? But I think our quality of the videos, like we put a lot of effort and we even put money in it. Yeah, we put to make it look good and like, try, yeah. like we post videos. At, we've been putting videos every week. Like mm. we never had a break. I think. Let's cue the sad music now. There's been a lot of times where I, I, I was, I doubted my abilities. I think I've always had a problem with self doubt. Yeah. Um. It could be something that says, I look so stupid in this video. Yeah, look, this video is so boring. Oh, Should we even this like video post is so it? boring. I think when we first, yeah, shot our first um, rating anime mm. outfits, I was in a bad mood. Yeah. After, I thought it was, I thought it was trash. And, and I, um, I, I looked at the foot, the raw footage and I was like, I don't know, I don't think we should post this. I think we should redo it. Yeah, I was like, no, and we can't redo no it because we like to keep it genuine, right? Yeah. And I second guessed it completely. But then obviously, I, I you know, I worked on it. I, I think I spent a good three, four days working on that. Mm. But that's when I just started editing as well. So yeah. worked really hard to try and make it as funny as possible. Um, and it worked out. That's actually yeah. our most social video. 
but yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of times where, where I've, I've just felt like completely done, mm. you know. Um, but then I think we kind of stopped looking at the numbers so much. Yeah. And we started focusing more on the feedback. Not the feedback, but the, the comments itself. Uh, and you guys have really helped keep me motivated in, in continuing. Like even like okay we don't get a hundred views, cool. But there's like three really heartfelt comments on there, yeah. like really wholesome comments on there, and that outweighs the numbers by a lot. But obviously we do, if if it's gonna be a viable for our future, we're gonna keep on making content. Obviously, it does need to grow. Yeah. Moving on to the Maggie and Sham Awards, best of. The first category we're gonna go into is K-pop. So I want you to tell me the best five K-pop songs of this year. You don't have to say them in order, but... I can't say in order. Okay. <clears throat> Top five. Yeah, that you can... Let's start with the obvious. The obvious? Yeah. Okay. Um, I wonder if you have the same. So, BTS Black Swan. BTS Black Swan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that one. <laughs> this is hard because there came a lot of good songs this year. Stray Kids, God's Menu. Yeah. Not really. Um, recent one, Kai mm. from EXO. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's the song, by the way. It's called mm. <laughs> um, mm. Okay, you say three, and then I'll say two. No, you have to finish. No, 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 I can't. You're okay, judging. Okay, okay. BTS on. As a top five song? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Streak is got many as well. Mm. And uh, twice I can't stop me. Okay. Say two more. Say the other two. Um, that Shwita by uh, August D. Yeah. AKA Sugar of BTS. Yeah. And my fifth one is probably Kai mm, as well. Okay, I, I got my five. You got your five now? Yeah, 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 I got my five. Okay, boom, number one, Black Swan, BTS. Yeah. Okay, number two, God's Menu, Stray Kitchen. Mm -hmm. uh, number three, mmm, Kai. Mm. Mm. Number four, Dutch with Ta, August with Ta. D. AKA Suga, Min Suga. Yeah. And number five, Monster, Irene and Solgi from Red Velvet. I'm a little monster. Ooh, that's a good yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that one. That was, that's that a good really song. Good. Yeah. Or at least it was quite similar. Okay, let's do top three music videos. While I'm picking my nose here. <laughs> let's do top three music oh. videos. Hmm? I think we might have the same ones. On Maybe. performance video. The Manifesto film. Yeah, that was so good. Mm. And then... God's Menu. God's Menu. That's a really good video as Is well. Is this in order? No. Okay. And then Kai's. Not the mmm -hmm one, but the... The cinema, the, the kind of yeah. the trailer. The trailer to the album.
Mm. That was really good. I think mine's exactly the same. Is it? Yeah. Next question: the best comeback of the year. Best comeback of the year is definitely Stray Kids Got Menu. Yeah. Um, or Stray Kids Go, basically. The Go Live album. Uh, reason is now, obviously, I you had pretty much no idea on Stray Kids before them. Yeah, that was the first album I knew. I. You heard a few songs. I before. well, I, I I knew of them when they first, when they pre debuted, I guess.、Mm. But I think God's Menu really put them on the map. That was a、like, wow! Why didn't I know about this group? Exactly,、before? exactly. It really put on the map. I think it helped them break a lot of their own records.、Mm. Yeah, that's my favorite as well.、Mm. Like literally the whole album, not even just the title ta- track. Like the whole album is good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's move on to anime. I think this is gonna be harder for you than for me. Yeah. So for anime, we have top three animes of the year. I feel like we can choose what we have watched. What we、well. have watched, yeah. yeah. But the thing is, I've rewatched a lot of things, so they don't count, right? I guess not. Like for me, I watch some old stuff, right? Because I'm new to it. Yeah. So obviously. I don't even remember what came out this year. Can I choose mine already? Like I don't. Yeah,、know. yeah, you can choose yours. First one, Attack on Titan. Yeah. We haven't even started the final season yet.、No. We have to start watching it. Start watching it.、Yeah. I'm really excited. And then the second one is Demon Slayer. Demon that Slayer. came out last year, I think. It、right? came out last year, and I think I tried to convince you for like a good, for a very long time、yeah. to watch it, and you would just not agree. And then I was like, okay, fine. And then I was like, <gasps> it's really good, guys. You all have to watch it. And then the last one is the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Brotherhood.、Mm, that's I, an old one, right?、It's、that's very old, yeah. But that one is wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's my top three anime of the year. I mean, I I do think those are three of the best animes that are out right now, anyway.、Mm. So, for me, I'm、ooh. actually curious. I haven't watched much this year. I've not been. Because you've been watching it all time with me. I've been watching. Yeah, I've been educating you. On、uh, weeb culture, I can, I could tell you say my hero academia. Yeah, it was still going、that、on this year. This year, yeah. Wow, this is so hard for you. <laughs> huh? It came out this year. A few moments later. Have you even watched like new Fire Force? Fire Force season two. Oh, Fire Force season two. Fire Force season two. But yeah, that that oof. Bam! Bada bing, bada boom.、Who、so that's one of your one. One? Yes, Fire Force season two. Let's go. So my hero, Fire Force, and one more. What came at the start of the year? I'll say Vinland Saga. Vinland Saga. Yeah. Okay. What about your top three games of the year? That I played this year. That you played this year. They don't have to be coming out this year, but. Oh, you're trying to hint. I say League of Legends. I'm gonna say League of Legends. 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 League of Legends. League of Legends. Uh, so was it top three games of the year? Yeah, can I say? Sure. League of Legends. League of Legends. And then Animal Crossing. Hmm. That was like the lockdown game. The lockdown. In March game. it yeah, came yeah, out, right? Yeah, yeah. Everyone was playing it. Hmm. And I was obsessed with it. Like I was just holding the Switch every day. Hmm. And the last game, maybe Fall Guys. <laughs> really? <laughs> Fall Guys. I don't know. What do I play though? I guess it has to be that I play, not you. True, true, true. Yeah, true. it's Fall Guys. Fall Guys is stupid, but it's fun. Uh, that's I, my favorite ones. I'm gonna say Ghost of Tsushima.、Mm. Brilliant. Maybe game of the year for me. Oh, game of the year. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah.、Uh, ah. Judgment. It、oh. didn't come out this year, but I played it this year. I would、uh, choose that if I could, but I can't. That was amazing! What what a story, man! What a story! If you ever played any of the Yakuza games, get Judgment. Try out one of the most. It's made by the same devs. Basically, it plays the exact same way, but it's just you're playing from a detective's point of view,、mm. and it's off. Oh, oh. Yeah, that was really man, good. Man, the story is just amazing. And finally, is it cyberpunk? Yeah. You've been obsessed, though. You know what, Cyberpunk? Sure, why、well, not? I've really been enjoying it.、Yeah. I mean, it just the bugs, but you actually like the game. The bugs and the crashing. So I mean, the game could be better. They, they, it's not what it was promised to be,、mm-hmm. but 
if you took out all the hype, it's a fun game. Mm. All right, that's it for this video. Hopefully it's not too long. It's very long. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting us this year. Hopefully we'll have a better year this year and hope you all had a good new year with your loved ones. Bye! <laughs> Mash it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it. it. Subscribe. Bye.